Hi everyone and welcome to this video on TBC with surface creation in cut and fill maps. Uh, my name is Kevin Keenan from Coric and I'm just going to go through this um, really nice uh, feature in TBC. So first off I have um, TBC open so if you're wondering I'm using the latest version uh, version 5.32 so if you only see extra features you have but the same uh, process is for all uh, tbc versions okay uh, so here we have a um, surface in so this is just their standard uh, csv file it's just dragged and dropped in it was called ogl i didn't survey this so it's literally new to me so i'm going to start uh, designing it up so first off i usually always have my uh, project explorer down here so these are always in the quick access toolbar here. So I always have it displayed at the bottom, but it default displays at the top. So it's a uh, few filter managers on your ex project explorer, selection explorer, and I also have properties open and I've my dot my properties here in this uh, tab as well. But if you do open anything, you can actually drag over a tab on the top of the bar and it'll actually add it to the menu. I also have my command line open as well. So that can be open and closed here as well. So I can tick and open and close that. Okay, so I might as well leave that open for now as well. So here we go, we're gonna start with um, going into my view filter manager and I'm just gonna look at the codes. So in here there's uh, layers, points. So it's on points and you can see here under my point name, I have IDs, so that's the name, the numbers. So I'll just see, is there a code? So they're all spot levels. So there was no outer boundary done, but what I'll do is I just hit Control A, go up to my surface tab, click create surface, and I'm gonna call this OGL. In the classification, I'm gonna call it original, and color, I'm gonna pick green. Uh, this is a nice feature, it gives you the time and the date, default to your PC, but you can select it for the time and date of done of the survey. If you hit apply, uh, you'll be doing multiple surfaces at a time. If you press OK, it'll actually create the surface and take away the command. So you can see here now um, the surface was created, but there's actually two line marks that I don't require. So for that, I need a surface trim. So it's command in here. So you can see here in the surface uh, commands here, you have extra commands. So create surface, surface members, tie, intersections. So what you're looking for is a uh, trim and just say we can't find the surface trim. So you're looking all around for that and you can't find it. What you can do is you can hit F12 and go in here and go into TRIM and you can see all the commands. So this is command window. So I can go surface edge trim. So I can select on that and it tells you the surface that I'm trimming. So outside, inside, and it won't crash the brake line, but we don't have brake lines, so we have to be careful here that we don't delete triangles that we actually require. So I click out then, give them a tidy up. So see, I've done that there now, that was a mistake. So what I can do is escape the command and go up and undo, or else hit Control Z. So if I hit Control Z, that undoes that triangle. And just say you lose the command, I can right click on that and go into my recent commands, trim surface edge. So I click that as well, that's done. So that's my surface all done and dusted. To make things uh, nice and easy, I can actually put these on on a new layer. So what I could do is go control A and go into my properties window. Okay, and then you can see that there's all uh, 50 properties. So there's a surface and there's 49 points. So if I go into the 49 points, on the layer called points so i click that hit space bar and i'm going to call this ogl give that a color of green and press oh sorry just go in there leave that black as white so ogl green and press close now they're gone to ogl if i go back into my surface the name is ogl class color and everything so you can go in there and change the surface Go into the plan view so you can change all the details. So I'll just leave that for now. So if I go into my view for the manager and uh, OGL, you can see there my points are gone off. And then down here, I can go into my surface and turn that off as well. So now I'm left with an OGL. So if I go into my OGL points again and just check elevations, see they're 98. Nice, nice. So I'm going to create 
another surface that I can do a cut and fill map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and create a line string. So I'm going to go into CAD, line string. So you can drag and drop a CAD drawing if you want or another surface for another program. But I'm just going to create one. So in here, I went into create line string. So what I can do is give it a name. So I'm going to call this just house layer. I'm going to hit space bar, call it house and give it a color magenta close and surface sharpness that's fine press ok uh, the way I created that line string I also have the option in here to create a line string so but I'll just continue on in here so I'm going to click in here I'm going to give this maybe 100 ok I'm going to go to here and this is going to be the end of the house another 100 and then go over here then up here and then i just do all close so this is the area where we have to dig out so there's a line so if you dragged in the CAD drawn and that was the formation you had to get that or the design level would say so this is design level so what i can do is click on this line go up in surface and create another surface so i'm going to call this house this is going to be a design uh, color, magenta, selected one, press OK. So there's my surface. So now when I go in surface, surface here, you'll see my 3D, there's two surfaces. OK, so I can right click on that, no, show vertical tab, really nice feature there is if you go in surface, surface slicer view, you can actually slick, select down through the design. So you see that's the house and that's the OGL. So I can go section through it as well. So I close that. So I'm saying I'm happy with that. That's my house and that's my surface. And I want to run a report. I go into artwork report. From there to there, I pick surface. Initial is my OGL and my final is my house. If I only want to select a boundary around that, I can select all I want to know is the cut and fill around this area. If you want everything, you can select an outer area or select lines, whatever you want. Press OK. And then it defaults here uh, into the house. And it tells me there that uh, material placed is uh, 6,990.5 cubic meters. OK, so that's what I need to get to get up to the design. OK, so once that's done, I can go now into my cut and fill. So in here, in the same command in surfaces, I go to cut and fill map. And here I'm going to call it SCCF cut fill. So my initial is my OGL. My final is my house. And in here I can put it on its own layer. So I'm going to put it in here called HSCCF. Close that. Uh, the textile uh, standard, but sometimes I go in there and just check the size. So usually the size is pretty big. You can create a new font, a new style by just clicking new. But in there, I just maybe pick two. Press OK. Space uh, gridding is uh, how much you want a tick or a line to appear for the cut and fill. So I'll say 20 meters. I'm going to use the ticks or the lines. And based on the units, I will do one place decimal. And I'll label the surface elevations. And press OK. You'll see then it'll go blue, and that's indicating that the, it is a filled material. So if it's red, it'd be a cut. So if I turn off all my surfaces and you leave on um, the cut and fill, it'll be blue, just blue surface on its own. So if I zoom in here and turn off my surface, you'll see that I have a elevation here. So just to show you, that was one place decimal. So it's 98.224. So the point at this section here so if I just select that on this X is uh, 98.2 and it's um, getting up to a uh, design of 100 it has um, 1.8 cubes of fill to go in there so it shows you all them if anything if I wanted to change that I can go into the properties by just selecting there if you don't have your properties down here you can right click and go into properties so what you do is select down there so I say, okay, I actually wanted a little bit more. I went to shading by elevation or change the plan view. So I can go into wireframe, lines, any of that. So I can change what I want to see. 
So in here, you can uh, go into the surface, rebuild the surface, display transparency. But if you wanted to change any details in here, you can go into Projects, uh, Explorer, go into Cut and Fill Map, pick your Cut and Fill in here. And then once you select that, you can go into your Properties here, and it gives you the properties again of your Cut and Fill Map. So if you go into your Settings, you can uh, go into your surfaces there as well and edit your surfaces or you can edit the color mapping so in here you have uh, the shading so you can change what uh, ever shading you want uh, or use your default or load one okay so just saying here now uh, the plan view so that has the ticks so if i scroll down along here it has the very bottom the appearance so if i go into ticks i go i can go into lines I can go to three days for place and then label yes or no. So I can just put on the cut and fill in the boxes. Um, so you could say there's not enough of boxes there. You could add in more. You can go into ticks and uh, that's replaced. Just go zero and you can see that they all change in there. So you can customize these. So I can change the space in here to 10. Okay. And if you want them to go uh, at an angle, um, to go with the design so you can go with 30 you can work out the angle say 10 there you go so we we'll say uh, 8 so there they are there so you can customize all these you can even make it 5 meters if you want so if I put it up to um, space and decimal place maybe 0.1 so and you can see the text you can change the text again so in there slightly a little bit too big so I can go up there Change it as well, like two. So once that's done, you can actually uh, export out that as well. So if you go into the projects here now, so there's all your cut and fill map. So you can actually highlight that, go home and export it out to AutoCAD. So if you go into CAD, DWG, highlight that, call it HSC, cut and fill. Usually here I'll drop it down to 2000 just in case uh, there's a version, anyone has older versions, so it's easier if it goes down to 2000, it makes it quite a bit smaller as well. And then make sure to have the explode blocks, yes, and points, yes. Once that's done, just export it, and then there's your CAD drawn, uh, done and dusted. Okay, uh, even if you go into your View Filter Manager and go into your OGL, you can actually export out the old gel into a CAD drawn. You can export out also the surface as a TTN for your controller. So there's the blue surfaces as well. So if you go into the properties of the blue surface, so it says H S uh, E uh, C F. So in here, you can change all the settings in there. Also of the cut and fill map. So just a nice, real, uh, actually handy feature is um, in the plan view you can turn off the wireframe yes or no so if i deselect it see the wireframe is still there to show the triangulation so if i select it again go in wireframe and go no uh, shading i can go surface color like i picked earlier great i can go by material if i had a material so if i go by elevation i can go in here and change all the settings so there's um a surface to surface in tbc um uh, artwork report with a surface to surface and a quick cut and fill map as well in all done in TVC. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.